Have you ever wondered how to download and use digital content in your videos? How can you find content that folks have already created and allowed you to use in your own work? Creative Commons licenses can help you do both. I'll show you how. Certainly, our world has exploded with digital opportunities. Now we can communicate, share, and market using video on the exceptional distribution network that is the Internet. Our awesome video content can be accessed and viewed worldwide by millions in some very exciting new ways. But it's important to know that when something is created, say a photo, music track, or a video, it's automatically protected by copyright. Copyright allows people to say who can share and use their creations. And you must always obtain permission before sharing or reusing someone else's work, even if it's posted online. So what if a creator wants everyone to reuse their work? Without the hassle of granting permission over and over again, this is where Creative Commons can help us out. Creative Commons provides licenses for content that is free to use. Creators can apply a license to their work that refines their copyright and streamlines how they give us permission. Zach here downloads a photo called CC Kiwi that he wants to use in his video. He can do this without asking Kiri, the photographer, first because she's already given permission with a Creative Commons license. Kiri's license is legally robust but easy for Zach to understand. She's basically told the world, including Zach, that they can use CC Kiwi as long as they acknowledge her as the original photographer. There are more rules that Kiri could have included. Creative Commons licenses are made up of license elements. You can think of them as rules, and each has their own special symbol. This is attribution. It means that Zach must acknowledge Kiri when he publishes his video containing her photo. There is also non-commercial. It means that no one else but Kiri is permitted to make money from CC Kiwi. There's a guy named Tim who wants to print the photo on t-shirts and distribute them to friends. He can do that, but he must not sell them. This one is no derivatives, and it means that Kiri hasn't given permission to change her photo. Kate can use CC Kiwi in a video on her blog, but will need to ask Kiri before retouching or mixing up the image in her content. And this is share alike. It means that new creations using CC Kiwi need to carry the same license. Jack incorporates his own remix of CC Kiwi in his video, but he must share the work under the same terms that Kiri has. Each Creative Commons license gives permission to share and includes the attribution rule. So when finding Creative Commons license work, we automatically are allowed to share it, but we're required to acknowledge the creator if we do. The other three license elements are optional, and the creator chooses which ones, if any, to add. Here are the six combinations that make up Creative Commons licenses. The difference between them is how many rules apply when we wish to use them in our work. The attribution license allows us the most freedom, and the attribution non-commercial no derivatives license allows us the least freedom. The attribution license and the attribution share alike licenses are sometimes referred to as free cultural works approved licenses. These three licenses restrict commercial use of a work. And these two licenses do not give permission for adapting or remixing. These two licenses require any new works to be licensed under the same terms as the original work. To get more details on these licenses, visit creativecommons.org. There's also some good information and updates at creativecommons.org slash choose. And there's a pretty sweet way to find other people's Creative Commons licensed work to use online. You can use a search filter by going to search.creativecommons.org. You can search Gemendo for music, Flickr for photos, YouTube for videos, all kinds of stuff. Using Creative Commons licenses can help you create more effective and engaging videos for the worldwide audience on any subject you like.
Whatever market you're in, you'll find there are scientists, educators, companies, and public agencies all willing to let you use their content to serve your viewers and create raving fans, providing solutions to their problems, and building and growing our businesses using video as our marketing tool of choice. Content is king.